Professor, what exactly is civil aviation security? Aviation security is the application of measures to ensure that such events do not occur. The technical definition is aviation security is a combination of material and human resources and measures intended to counter unlawful interference with aviation. It is aimed at protecting the passengers, crew, airport employees, airline employees and the general public from any form of unlawful interference. However, is aviation security regulated? Yes, there are international and national regulatory and trade bodies that actively regulate aviation security. These include the International Civil Aviation Organization or ICAO, the International Air Transport Association or IATA, and the Civil Aviation Security Regulatory Authority of various countries. The Annexure 17 to the Chicago Convention of the ICAO forms the basis for all rules and regulations that govern aviation security. Let me share with you some of the examples of designated authorities or National Civil Aviation Security Regulatory Authorities. United Kingdom Department for Transport, United States Transportation Security Administration, TSA, Belgium Civil Aviation Authority, CAA, India Bureau of Civil Aviation Security, BCAS, Professor, could you please tell us as to why civil aviation is such an attractive target for threats? It is a very attractive target due to the following reasons. Instant publicity. Aircraft possess inherent mobility. Different nationalities involved. Aircraft can be easily taken in control. Means of extortion, ransom. Small quantity of explosive can cause huge damage, economic damage to the country and the airline. All these reasons lead to what is referred to as acts of unlawful interference. Acts of unlawful interference. What are they? These are acts or attempted acts to jeopardize the security in civil aviation such as hijacking an aircraft, placing a bomb or other explosive device on board, forcible entry into an aircraft, hostage taking on board an aircraft or at an airport, etc. How do the various measures adopted by aviation security agencies stop these dreadful acts of unlawful interference? The two main functions that are carried out by aviation security agencies are anti-hijacking and anti-sabotage. What is anti-hijacking and anti-sabotage? Before we talk about anti-hijacking, it is important to understand what do we mean by the term hijack? Do you know what a hijack is? Hijack can be described as any person on board an aircraft in flight taking control of the aircraft unlawfully by threat or force. Absolutely correct. There are various types of hijackers namely terrorists and criminals, refugees and psychopaths. Very true. Now, let us talk about anti-hijacking and what it denotes. Anti-hijacking means all measures aimed at preventing the hijack of an aircraft or aviation facilities. The responsibility for the implementation of anti-hijacking measure is generally the responsibility of state security agencies or federal security agencies or agencies authorized by the state to carry out anti-hijacking functions. Airport security police, state police and military. There are a set of rules and protocols that need to be followed to ensure complete safety. Let's see them one by one. Frisking of passengers and their hand baggage. Escorting of passengers to the aircraft. Apron and perimeter security. Security of the catering items. Surveillance in departure areas 
with the use of electronic aids, monitoring the airport with closed circuit TV, etc. Professor, having learnt about anti hijacking, what exactly is anti sabotage? Anti sabotage is the implementation of measures aimed at preventing sabotage of an aircraft or aviation facility, such as placing a bomb on board an aircraft or airport, destroying radar or aviation fuel dumps, etc. Anti sabotage measures may be made the responsibility of the state security agencies or agencies authorized by the state or even the airlines. What are the measures implemented to ensure that these events do not occur? Let's take a look at some of the anti-sabotage measures. Supervision of movement of registered baggage from check-in counter till it is loaded into the aircraft. Anti-sabotage check of aircraft at originating station and guarding until takeoff. Guarding of aircraft at transit stations. Prevention of access by unauthorized persons by checking airport entry permit, AEP or pass. On the job supervision of all personnel. Security of air crew baggage. Security of aircraft document bags. Security of catering items. Security of fuel. Security of cargo, postal mail, company stores. Non-acceptance of last-minute items by passengers. Passengers to ensure that they are sure of the contents of their baggage.